Hello everyone, today we're doing a review of the new Bart figure from Square. This is the 6th entry in the Bring Arts line with a retail price of 12,000 yen. Starting things off, this time I wanted to take a look at the box, for one reason in particular. As you can see here, on the side of the box, there is a description of the character as usual for the Bring Arts packaging. One thing that a few people have pointed out, however, is that in this description, Faye is referred to as her. Either Square is dropping hints for the Xenogears remake, or they used Google Translate to do all this and didn't bother proofreading it. As someone heavily involved with translating Xenogears media, translation software often does gender Faye as her accidentally without the context, so this is pretty clearly a translation software thing. Thank you, Square. Anyway, let's get into the actual figure. Much like the Ellie figure that released back in 2019, Bart comes with an extra face, an extra piece of hair, and some extra hands. In addition to these, of course, as you can see based on his default pose, he has an extra set of arms similar to the recent Maria figure. Then finally, of course, he comes with a set of three whips. One of these is simply plastic and is designed to be attached to his waist for the default pose. As you can see here, there's an empty latch that can be pulled off, and the actual whip can be attached to that spot. The other two whips, however, are actually wire, and are designed to be used in more dynamic posing with the other hands. I really love the idea of using wire for the whips in order to maximize the amount of posability for Bart, considering how dynamic and cool his animations are in-game. In addition to all these, of course, Bart also comes with the usual stand, which will be nice for the posability with the whips. Just for a quick side-by-side, -side, I have here the original Bart figure released with the Faye version of the Millennium Square collection. The differences are quite notable. Overall, I'd say this figure is really good value compared to a lot of the recent stuff Square has released. The conversion rate makes him only $85 right now, and he's much higher quality than the Maria figure that released, and much better value than the Veltal id figure they released. Overall, I'd say this is a high recommend if you're a big fan of Bart, and even if you're not and you're just looking to collect some of the figures, I'd still recommend it. Anyway, if you've enjoyed this and you're interested in seeing more content like this in the future, or more Xenogears content in general, make sure to hit that subscribe button, and I will catch you next time.